Though all these evidences have been given, the enemy of good blinded the minds of men, so that they looked upon God with fear. They thought of him as severe and unforgiving. Satan led men to conceive of God as a being whose chief attribute is stern justice, one who is a severe judge, a harsh, exacting creditor. He pictured the Creator as a being who is watching with jealous eye to discern the errors and mistakes of men, that he may visit judgments upon them. It was to remove this dark shadow by revealing to the world the infinite love of God that Jesus came to live among men. The Son of God came from heaven to make manifest the Father. No man hath seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he hath declared him. John 1, verse 18. Neither knoweth any man the Father, save the Son, and he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. Matthew 11, verse 27. When one of the disciples made the request, Show us the Father, Jesus answered, have I been so long time with you? And yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, Show us the Father? John 14, verses 8 and 9. In describing his earthly mission, Jesus said, The Lord hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. Luke 4, verse 18. This was his work. He went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed by Satan. There were whole villages where there was not a moan of sickness in any house, for he had passed through them and healed all their sick. His work gave evidence of his divine anointing. Love, mercy, and compassion were revealed in every act of his life. His heart went out in tender sympathy to the children of men. He took man's nature that he might reach man's wants. The poorest and humblest were not afraid to approach him. Even little children were attracted to him. They loved to climb upon his knees and gaze into the pensive face, benignant with love. Jesus did not suppress one word of truth, but he uttered it always in love. He exercised the greatest tact and thoughtful, kind attention to his intercourse with the people. He was never rude, never needlessly spoke a severe word, never gave needless pain to a sensitive soul. He did not censure human weakness. He spoke the truth, but always in love. He denounced hypocrisy, unbelief, and iniquity. But tears were in his voice when he uttered his scathing rebukes. He wept over Jerusalem, the city he loved, which refused to receive him the way, the truth, and the life. They had rejected him, the Savior, but he regarded them with pitying tenderness. His life was one of self-denial and thoughtful care for others. Every soul was precious in his eyes. While he ever bore himself with divine dignity, he bowed with the tenderest regard to every member of the family of God. In all men he saw fallen souls, whom it was his mission to save. Such is the character of Christ as revealed in his life. This is the character of God. It is from the Father's heart that the streams of divine compassion manifest in Christ flow out to the children of men. Jesus, the tender, pitying Savior, was God manifest in the flesh. 1 Timothy 3, verse 16.